We're back at Gold's Gym, the Mecca, with the Black Prince of Bodybuilding. Personal, huge inspiration for me, Mr. Robbie Robinson. Today, we're gonna hit the body part that a lot of people are afraid to hit, but I'm actually so looking forward to it. We're gonna hit quads, we're gonna hit the legs. You have to do that. Let's go. And you gotta squat. <laughs> It's a little different than the than the one yeah, we were doing. Yeah, kind of trying to change it around. It just keeps yeah. placing all the pressure on the so. abs. It's got to go all the way back though. So it's got to go all the way back down. Oh, you want me yeah. to extend like yeah, this? Yeah, so that puts all the pressure on it. Then you can contract all of this and the lower abdominals in the bottom part for the inhale and the exhale, and that helps create the design. Gotcha. And you try to try to keep your feet up a little bit as a weight. Does it matter if you point the, the toes or not? Or not? Yeah, yeah, what I try to do is grip here. Oh, at the end, okay. right yeah. here, at the end. See, that puts everything in the, in that format. Got so it. So when you go so, down and bring your legs up, and just squeeze see what I'm everything. And then you squeeze on. There you go, two of them. Ah. Oh. There's three of them. Pull with your legs. Four of them, and point your toes. Five of them. Uh. Six of them. Roll them back down. Seven of them. It's eight of them. Nine of them, it's ten of them. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Ten, and making sure you're working at ten. You, yeah, yeah, yeah you're squeezing you and everything. You maximize it. Yeah, you're efficient. Yeah. You know, you can't do an exercise without breathing. If you don't breathe, it's not. You just you don't build time. muscle. That's you one thing I learned from you. You it don't takes breathe. Oxygen. Oxygen to build muscle. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen of them. Whoa. I can go past it, but I think a 10, you do your set, I do my set, you do your set, I do my set. Gotcha. Six of them, squeeze the abs, seven of them, when you put your toe, eight of them. It's nine of them, you fit it all down in here, 10 of them. Five more. 11 of them, 12, 13 of them, 14 of them, 15 of them. Woo! But did you feel it? You can, oh. Yeah. I mean, that's, you that's stretch the whole, the whole abdomen wall to the max, yeah. and then you contract it to the max. Exactly. You know, it's just, the more you inhale, the more that muscle is going to become decapitated. It suffers. <laughs> totally. It has to grow. If you're forcing and doing the reps and the exercises, has to, you, can't, you can change the muscle. Now, what do you think about people that do like 100 abs? Some people do like 100 reps, 100 crunches. They're not doing it right? This? Yeah. This? Well, I don't know if they can do this for a hundred. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it thickens the waist. Yes. The waist is supposed to be nice and shapely. That's what you're trying to get. That's the my assumption of nice round shoulder calf, nice tricep, right on down to a nice little waistline. So if the waistline is small, then it makes everything else look bigger. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like on the stage, going back to bodybuilding. If a person is dissected, you know, like you're nice and muscular and separated. Yes. When you get on a stage, that lighting should give you five pounds. Got it. So if you're 180, you should look 185, look bigger. Got it. That's what's supposed to happen. And you always start every workout we've done so far. We've done four workouts. Every single one, you start with the abs. It's your core. Yeah. It's the stronger the core is, yeah. the stronger the air Some people say if you tire your abs, you won't be strong on the leg thing. No. Just save Three. it for the leg. Okay. Well, I squatted yesterday 500 pounds. <laughs> Come on. I love it. it it's just, you know, you know, not trying to be smart. Yeah. Smart ass or bad boy, whatever uh -huh. they call me. It's, it's, it's correctness. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you breathe, you're gonna be a monkey. Don't breathe. Yeah, you're gonna be no, a monkey. It's, it's not arrogance. It's, it's confidence. Not arrogance. It's confidence. And it's confidence built over how many years? Fifty. Yeah, Fifty years. Exactly. No, so I know what work. I know yeah. how to get the body into the shape that it can compete and win. Yeah. And like, when they say you're smart, I feel like it's more like a compliment because you are smart. smart. There's nothing wrong with saying you're smart. <laughs> you are smart. I mean, I've never had an injury. Why, yeah. why not? I've been lifting weight, tons of weight. They're lifting six, seven hundred pounds. Why don't I have a why? And it's all body positioning. Yes. I've, I've seen Brandon. Brandon Curry? Well, yeah. The boy is it's, it's awesome. Yes. But he don't do the work. Incredible performance. Anybody should be back. It should be him. Yeah. Dominated. Yeah. But the arms don't change. Yeah. He gets thicker and bigger and bigger and more so. Yeah. Right. Chisel that stuff. Yeah. Then I'm impressed. Yeah. I get on this case all the time. <laughs> Sorry, one of them. No disrespect, two yeah. of them. 
There's three of them. He should be winning every time. Four. There's five of them. Making sure I'm contracting the muscles at the top. You, you're gonna miss it sometimes. Yes. But then go back and get back into that. That's mm -hmm. what I do. One of them, pull. Pull, two of them. There's three of them. Don't bounce. Four of them, rhythm. There's five of them. Squeeze the abdominals. Six of them. Seven of them. Eight of them. Nine of them. That's where you want it. It's 10 of them. 11 of them. 12 of them. It's 13 of them. 14 of them. 15 of them. Yep. Whew. Wow. It's like, like any muscle, you start pumping the blood. You can feel the blood. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Because then you can actually, once you pump the, the muscle belly, you can feel it, the contraction even better. Exactly. Otherwise, yes. you don't really connect when there is not enough blood in it. Mm -hmm. So after the first set, I'm already like, they're almost like little lumps, the oh, abdominal yeah. muscles. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's like mind muscle set. connection. And if you don't have the mind muscle connection, then it's just kind of like you're, you're missing the point. You're not gonna get where you want to get. Probably, I see it all the time. Oh, I see oh. people going through the movement. They go through the mode, it's like A to B. They just go A, B, A, B, but there is nothing in between mm -hmm. A and B. Nothing, nothing. You know, I don't think people understand it. The rhythm of the rep has to change. When the weight is, when you're failing those last two to three reps, those are the reps really to build the muscle. Yes. The rest of it is like a warm up, a preliminary. When you get to the reps now, now get those reps. If you can get those reps, I'm impressed. But if you can't get those reps, you gotta recycle what you're doing. Take a look at it. Maybe it's your food or your water, your supplement, whatever. To take a look at it. And at the same time, is you're like you're sitting in a chair. Gotcha. And then you're pushing back, but you're pushing back and you're leaning forward, which affects all the muscles on the hips, all the muscles on the front part, your butt at the same time. Because gotcha. you're keeping attention on the muscle, right? I know where everything is. I'm in my box. I want to slowly lower myself and look up. It's one of them. Two. I'm moving forward, three, on the pitching on the quad, four. And look up. You gotta look up. One of them. Mm-hmm. There's two of them. Keep the tension on it. Three. There's four of them. Five. Lower, lower. Six. Yeah, you go seven of them. You just hit the level. There's eight of them. Come on, you gotta work. There's nine of them. It's ten. It's eleven of them. You gotta warm it up. Twelve. It's thirteen of them. Inhale, exhale. Fourteen of them. Inhale, exhale. Fifteen of them. In the bodybuilding world, what we would do is this. Stretch that quad, lean back, and stretch that quad. One of them, two. It's nine of them, it's 10, whoa. Come and stretch and the quad. One of them, let's see heels hit the floor there. Stay oh, on your stay toes. On my toes, two of them. There's three of them, four, lean back, oh. five of them, the six of them, seven of them, eight, oh. nine of them, come on, squeeze them, ten of them. Do you squeeze on yeah. top? Yeah. There's 11 oh. of them, 12 of them, come on, finish it, 13 of them, 14 of them stronger than me, sad, oh, awesome. Fuck. See, what that does, it forces more blood to go into the muscle. Got it. On the next set, because you're going to increase the weight. See? Wow. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm Oh, what I'm, I'm understanding I'm, and learning. Trying. I'm taking okay. notes. But that's what it is. You're trying to decapitate that muscle. Got you. And you want to put as much stress on that muscle as you can so that it will grow. I mean, why go in the gym and do it? I mean, I could do leg press thousands of pounds, sure. thousands of pounds with it. But it's not going to put on your body on the squat. Yeah. You have to squat. You cannot replace it. It makes squat. the whole body work, the whole body grow. I've noticed when when I don't squat, I plateau. 
I add the squat in, the body just gets stronger and a little so, bigger. Exactly. It connects everything. Yeah, it connects everything. As the weight becomes heavier and heavier and heavier, people whole mindset differentiate. It, it'll go to just trying to get the weight up. Yes. And when you should get away from that, and as the weight get heavier, be more methodical about body position, form, and technique. Yes. You know, that way you never have an injury. I get into this box. I know where everything is. I can feel the balls of my feet, yes. my heels pressing into the floor. So what that does, that's going to give me stability. I'm not going to hurt myself. I don't care how heavy this weight is. I got my upper back watch. It's on my heels and the balls of my feet. Imagine all the muscles in the quad. One of them. Take your time, two of them. Squeeze the quads, three of them. Yeah, don't snap them. Four of them, there you go. Five of them, look up here, look up here. Six of them, seven of them, eight of them, nine of them. Awesome, and lean back. That's two of them. There you go. It's three. It's four. It's five. It's six of them. The seven of them. This eight. This nine of them. Awesome. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel even the hamstring on the way up. The hammy is contracting. Everything comes. Wow. This way. It can't. It can't help it. it you're supposed to do that. One of yes. them. Yes. Two, you see him leaning back, it's three of them. It's very important to have a mindset of what you want to see happen with the body. You have to picture it. Yes. The muscles are not going to just appear out of you during the work. You have to imagine where all those muscles are to create that all. You have to breathe. You have to eat your food. You have to rest. If you don't get your rest, you're not going to get The rest. basics. The body doesn't build muscle when you train. It breaks it down. Yeah. So you have to feed it. And if you don't feed it, it don't grow. Yes. If you don't breathe, it don't grow. <laughs> you don't use the supplements, it don't grow. Yeah. You're wasting your time. Go back home and have a beer. You said we're here to decapitate. We're, yeah. And once you get home, you decapitate. You there, put yeah. it back on. Put it back on. <laughs> you know what comes to my mind when I see CC Squad? Tom Platts. That's I right. think of him. He used to kill him. I was like, why is nobody doing sissies? It's like nobody Give me the truth. Why? They, they don't do it because they just they don't think they do anything. It's got it's got what you call an extinct like the dinosaur. Yes. It's a dinosaur thing. But what they don't realize is it just creates incredible separation. Got it. It definitely creates the line. Oh the stretch is more crazy. Blood. It strengthens oh, the muscle overall. It helps keep the muscle flexible. It opens up that muscle so more blood flow can go into that totally. muscle. Notice how many, how much Tom Platt stretched his quads. Oh my gosh, crazy. That's who it is. The muscle, the muscle can't be mature or grow and become bigger and more, yeah. more uh, and more fibrous without yes. all that stretching. You have to People think if you put so much muscle, you're gonna become muscle bound. No. Tom Platt's one of the most flexible people. Like he would lie down on his back with the quads fully stretched. The That's stretches right. were crazy. Yeah. And when you stretch, and he was also muscular and lean, you would mm -hmm. see all the separation. Yeah, yeah, the best stretch. legs ever in the history of bodybuilding. That shot when he did the hamstring stretch? Yeah. Oh my you saw God. That? Crazy. Lines. Of course. Thirteen of them burning. Fourteen of them. Fifteen of them. Whoa! Mm. Push with the heels and the balls of the feet. You got fifteen reps. Last set. Finally, it's here. D day, leg day, with Mr. Robbie Robinson. I've been putting it off for a while, not because I was being a sissy and we did some sissy right. squats, but because I actually broke my toe. 
a week before we did our first workout. So we did the first three workouts with me with a broken toe. Now if it's healed, I can walk, I can lunge, I can squat. It's just amazing how the body heals. I do the rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation, but you gotta add the M. So it's rice and movement on top of it. Heel, leg day, virabi, I love it in my Iron Disneyland. Let's go. One of them, keep leaning back. Two of them, three, keep leaning back. Four of them, just five of them. Six, seven of them, eight, oh yeah. Just nine, them. keep going. Just 10, 11 of them, 12, 13 of them, end it, 14 of them, end it. Oh. I feel like the CCs are harder than a squat. You get right off of that in your oh my God, yeah. It just blows the quads. Right? That's a crazy superset. I try to vary everything. Got it. Keep it, the muscle guessing. Yeah. You know, not doing the same thing all the time. You're weakening the hamstrings forces the quads to work on. Got it. You see what I'm saying? If you can pick one exercise for quads and one exercise for for hams, squats, what, and so squats for both. Oh, yeah. squats and, and yeah. See, seated. Back in the old days, we used to go leg extension, leg curl, leg extension, leg curl, leg mm -hmm. extension, leg curl, 27. Or a warm up. What? Or, or that would be the whole workout. That's the whole workout. Wow. Yeah. That, that's my warm up. Yeah. I always go start with the extension if it's not open, otherwise, mm -hmm. I go to this one. Mm -hmm. So this way, I saturate with blood, mm -hmm. both hamstring, and then I can do my work. Yeah because there is a cushion. Probably about uh, hydration during the workout. Do you have you, to keep it. Like, That's why you're seeing me drink the water or you put like I miss my G, I miss, I miss the nutrients. I miss the glutamine, creatine, okay. the sickening because of the stress of the kidneys on the creatine. I sure. do most of that. Uh, five grams in the morning. I drink it, drink it, drink it. I add ice and water to it. I'll drink it again. Mm -hmm. I drink probably a gallon and a half a day probably. Uh, yeah. And do you put any sugars in no, your no, drink? No, all I use no is sugars. amino energy. Uh, Got it or um, energy fuel. Yeah. You need those nutrients. That's yes. why you always see me go there and get a couple of sips of it. Mm -hmm, it just mm -hmm. keeps the muscles hydrated. Totally. It keeps the body down to keep that energy level up. Yeah. That's what is happening. I'm doing something very similar. Mm -hmm. I have glutamine, creatine. I have um, beta alanine. Mm -hmm. I have essential amino acids and BCAAs, brand mm -hmm. chain. Mm -hmm. And I also have around 40 grams of dextrose. Sugars. So this way, I keep replenishing the glycogen mm -hmm. as I'm working out. I got this from uh, Milos Sarchev mm -hmm. when I trained with him in Vegas. He's... I'm not sure about what is dextrose. It's a sugar. It's a sugar. Yeah, I wouldn't put it. I took it out. Okay. Yeah. So, so I basically, would, you, if you use the amino energy, yes, mango, watermelon, mm -hmm. because you have to understand. I love watermelon. That's what, what I have. See, the watermelon, watermelon has a lot of insulin. Got it. So it helps the body build muscle. Got it. Keep the testosterone yeah. level. That's what is happening. Push against those hands. Seven of them. Squeeze that ball. There's eight of them. There's nine of them. Come on, make a ball. Make a ball. Make a ball. Ten of them. There's eleven of them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a bicep. It's just like on the front of your arm. Yeah. So yeah. the more you squeeze and contract those muscles, then you can look like Tom Brown. Yes. When you bend over, stretch the quads out. Totally. Because he's been doing that. He's done that so many times. Because he can imagine all those strips of muscle. Uh huh. And that's why I like that. Tom and I used to talk a lot. Back yeah. In the day. yeah. 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 <clears throat> it's all about vision. I was listening to an interview with Tom, mm -hmm. and he brought this moment where he's like, he just had torn his. Uh, yeah. I bicep. remember. I was standing right there. And and he goes, you see, I'm in the hospital, and out of nowhere. Robbie comes to visit me in the hospital at night. I don't even know how he got in there. He walked in my room in the hospital when I was recovering from uh, this arm operation. He goes, you're gonna train arms with me. We'll train, we'll train. You're gonna be fine. I'm like, wow, Robbie Robinson walked in my hospital room. Maybe I'm just on too many painkillers. He goes, that's how I knew I joined the club. He's like, I'm part of the boys. Yeah, he's part one of the boys. <laughs> I mean, he was getting ready for the Olympia. And, and yeah. you, know, <clears throat> you, know, you know what happened? He had 50 pounds. Uh -huh. 
he curled the 50 pounds, and he was trying to make it, you know, get in that, you know, throw in something that it, like he went just like this. Let it drop down and it snapped. Yeah. And he was in great shape too. Yeah. But it was disappointing because, you know, here's the guy that put in all that work. But and he still competed. Still competed. He went to, yeah. yeah. One of them. Two. Just three of them. Make a ball. So that's what I'm imagining in my mind. Five. <clears throat> six. Seven. All the muscles. I can see them. Eight. Nine. Ten. I can feel all the blood rushing to that muscle. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Yeah, there you go. Feel what you're doing. Three of them. Complete the squeeze. Four. There's five of them. Six of them, seven of them, stay positive, stay positive. Eight of them, see that muscle grow. There's nine of them, make a ball. There's 10 of them, make a ball. There's 11 of them, make a ball. There's 12 of them, make a ball. There's 13 of them. It helps me think because we already did bicep and mm -hmm. you taught me how, make a ball. Mm -hmm. And this is another, this is the femoral bicep. Exactly. So it makes me connect even better because I can imagine even better. I know what the bicep looks like. Yeah. This is just a bigger ball. This is a bigger ball, yeah. <laughs> you got all that muscle fibers back there and they're all splitting and separating because of what you're doing. And the more you keep envisioning this happen, it becomes a reality. Back in the summer, I was the first person who had all that. Mm -hmm. you could stand there and you could press down and they just jump out at you. Feel all that, see? So, eight. we used to do a lot of this. Half reps? Mm -hmm. Partial reps, Partial reps, yes. Or continuous tension reps. Yes. That's a like that to bring it into another kind of burn area mm -hmm. <clears throat> and end it there. It's called a continuous tension movement. One of them. Come on, face. Two of them. Mm -hmm. Hold that ball. Three of them. Mm -hmm. Imagination is power. Change it. Eight. Last set. Pump some blood in there. One of them. Mm -hmm. Take your time. There's two of them. Hold that contraction. There's three of them. It's four. Stronger than me. Five of them. Six of them. Seven of them. Awesome. Eight. Beautiful, man. Add a few partials. Yeah. And do that, yeah. Just push down on it. Watch it bring it to a burn. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. Fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to train heavy. Yeah. You have to have rep days or rep week. I do a rep week where I'm doing a lot more reps, and then I have a days where I do five, four, three, two, one. Yes. But that's the heaviest weight for five reps, the heaviest weight for four reps, heavy weight for three reps heaviest weight for two reps. Yeah. I'll take that one rep sometime and get one rep, but yeah, but, one okay. or two more. But but the the form has to be on point. The form has to be on point. Otherwise, that one it's rep can mess you up. Yeah. yeah. I always call it exercise form and technique. Yes. If you get all those in there, body position. I, I, was, I, I see guys up here doing barbell rolls, and they're rowing here. Mm -hmm. But what you're working really is just your bicep. Yeah. You're not really getting the back that much. You have to be down there and roll. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't roll up here and build a bag. It's yes. not going to happen. 
I think we should coin that as your term, EFT, what? exercise form technique. Yes, sir, like abbreviation, EFT, exactly. Exactly. EFT system by Robbie. Yeah, <laughs> exercise form and technique, that's I what it is. It. You need to teach me how to pose my quads one that. day. I'll show you how yeah. to do it. that muscle. Hey, don't speed it up. There's nine of them. All the way back there. Yeah, you go now. Ten of them. Come on. All the way back. All the way back. Look down at the quad, look down at the quad. And squeeze those muscles, five of them. Squeeze those muscles you're looking at. The six of them, press down into it. You have to make the muscle that just sounds harder. Yeah. You have to dominate that muscle. You're not supposed to allow that muscle to get away with anything. Yeah. If I'm not squeezing, then I'm not working. Here we go, here we go. One. You want to be solid into that seat. Don't move. Push. You're supposed to do jerk, nothing with your body. Just push. Two of them. Three. You got to stretch more back. Eight of them. Nine of them. Go, go halfway down. Ten of them, you got two. Eleven of them, you gotta let it go all the way down. This is the one you want to get, the rest of them didn't count. Oh. It didn't want to go anymore. Yes, you got it. It's like it the hit muscle, the wall. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's muscle is failed. It's done. It's done. Do you do lunges, Robbie? Yeah, love them. I normally do them, do a set of lunges, do this set of lunges. Oh, in between. And like then a we'll super set. Yeah, just got it. You got 15 rounds. The heaviest weight. Here we go. Ten. Eleven of them. Squeeze. Twelve. Squeeze. All the way to the hips. Thirteen of them. You gotta work. Fourteen of them. You gotta squeeze. Fifteen of them. So leave the heaviest uh, weight for the last exercise. You wanna finish on the heaviest? I wanna finish with the heaviest. I wanna teach that muscle a lesson. <laughs> you ain't gonna easy walk here. You gotta work. <laughs> That's the attitude I have about bodybuilding. You know? I, I love it for myself. I enjoy it. See, just like I was 18, 19 years old. I go in there to dominate my body, dominate that muscle group, 
bring that muscle group to a whole nother level of development. I want people to be like, wow, my, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> And that's how I trained when I was a kid. Yes. I wanted to go in there and dominate whatever competitor was on stage. I wanted to have the best physique on stage I'd ever been get up there. I knew I had the best body. Yeah. When you were warming up, pumping up, getting ready, were you thinking of anybody or you were just thinking of yourself, the best self, stepping up the stage? Did you care about who was around you or you no. would just go like step no, on? I, I knew that I had the best physique. Yeah. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Can you beat this? <laughs> I'm doing all of this warming up. I see, they be standing there looking at me. I don't yeah. know how to that the the end of the yeah. Yeah. That's what I went through. Yeah. I would hear them, it just pumped me off. You have to understand that you can't let adversity or other, how other people think bring you down to their level. Yeah. Robbie, you already won. I already won. You already won <laughs> in your head, you got the trophy. You just have to show them oh, why I got to you show won. What yeah. I now, there's a reason why you won. Oh yeah, there you go. The I hard work. It. I can say this again, you have to be willing to do what everybody else is not willing to do. You if, have to. If you're willing to look <laughs> like nobody else is looking. It's looking. You have to. And if you're not going to do that, then don't expect them to do No disrespect. <laughs> all you pro, uh, IFBB pro, I work for you all. I love it. Thanks for sharing all this knowledge with the world, man. I appreciate it. At the end of the day, it's about giving. And for me, I'm, I'm whenever I walk in here, this is a dream for me. Mm -hmm. I came from this little place in Europe, mm -hmm. and I'm here with a person that, a legend. And, and you, you know, I know uh -huh. that you are humble, but that's how we see you. And just sharing oh, yeah. this with me yeah. and yeah. everybody else, yeah. it's magical. Yeah, I mean, I, I, as I say, I, I've been going through this thing for so long. I've, I've seen bodybuilding. It's, a, it's, a, it's an art. Yes. It's a beautiful art that you can take a barbell or a dumbbell or a cable and create this incredible piece of art. That's how I see it. I still see it right now. It won't ever change. And that's what Bobby Dillon is, it's all. You should have a second nickname, The Artist. The <laughs> Artist. I can hear you, man. I love it. No problem. Thank you so Thank much, you. Rob. Batman School, Spaze, you think it's hard? Yeah, it's definitely hard. It's hard to stop. Stop, 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 stop. A lot of people, they just drink water. <laughs> they, it's like you're missing out. Yeah, you're you're, missing your body out. is missing out on the nutrients that it needs. It's like you're going at the energy level. I go into the gym, my energy level is... Yes. It keeps kicking because of the fact yeah. that I keep nourishing the body. Man, you can't just go in there and just do anything. I love it. And yeah. It's not just it breaks to maintain the body down you're actually building it. Yeah, you, I'm constantly building it. Yeah. And so that's why I'm sitting up here. Because people don't understand it. They think, oh, that stuff for just a dog. Yeah. I'm living proof of that. Because yeah. you want to you wanna use every minute of your workout. Every minute. You want to be taking you, a couple of sips yeah. of it, a couple of swigs of it, a couple of sips of it throughout the workout. Yeah. And, and then finish it off at the end of not add more water and ice yeah. to that, drink it again. Yeah. Because you're being, you're being dehydrated. Exactly. You, yeah, you keep, uh, by the way, muscle is what? 75, 80% water? 80%.